even when you walk for 20 30 minutes either in the park or on the treadmill how much do you lose you are able to lose 100 to 150 calories when you donate 450 ml of blood you are losing red cells and proteins and the body uses energy which is equivalent to 650 calories or what you did for the entire week uh, so this much calories can be simply lost by donating blood but naturally blood donation is something which you can do only once in 3 months i am not saying this can be a substitute for exercise so we can also consider apheresis platelet donation wherein you lose some plasma 200 to 300 ml of plasma and as a by product is removed along with the platelets and plasma probably you know contains triglycerides the cholesterol the bad cholesterol and ldl cholesterol all these things are present in it and studies have shown that people who donate blood regularly tend to have lower levels of this bad cholesterol compared to first time donors or people who don't donate at all it could also be possible that this is because donors are basically healthy people but this is something you can try and there are people who have donated they you can donate a fresh platelet like this twice a month there are people in bangalore who have completed 24 donations in one year and then so this is an indirect benefits of blood donation i am not suggesting you should, it can become a substitute for exercise uh studies have shown that there is something called as an iron hypothesis most men have surplus iron in our body and surplus iron causes oxidation of lipids so this get deposited in our blood vessels in our heart vessels leading or in the liver leading to fatty liver leading to uh, heart disease so a study has shown that if you donate blood regularly at least twice a year men can reduce their chances of heart attack by as much as 80% so, so imagine just regular donation of blood two times a year can reduce your chance of having heart attack heart failure and since this iron is also incriminated in other diseases like fatty liver some cancers like lung cancer liver cancer esophageal cancer there are some studies which say that these could also come down as i said all of them don't have a sound scientific basis though so uh, when you donate blood more than somebody else's life remember you are also saving your own life